Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, an overview, and some quick benchmarks on this Samsung SSD. This is the Samsung 830 series and I have the 256 gigabyte model. We'll start off with a close-up of the box. Uh, this is a SATA 6 gigabit per second SSD or SATA Revision 3. Also, this is the desktop PC installation kit that I have here. This same SSD is also sold with a notebook installation kit. Uh, taking a look at the back of the box, we can see a few more details. This SSD uses MLC NAND flash memory, and uh, specifically it is Samsung's Toggle DDR NAND flash memory, uh, which is very fast, I must say. Also a Samsung controller, a 3-core MCX controller. Uh, again, this is the 256 uh, gigabyte version with 256 megabytes of DDR2 SD RAM for cache and uh, also has the Samsung Magician software for SSD management. You'll notice here uh, several capacities listed. You got 64, 128, 256, and 512, uh, as well as some specs listed here from the manufacturer. Uh, max read that they're getting is 520 megabytes per second across the board. Max write starts off at 160 megabytes per second for the 64 gig, ramps up to about 400 megabytes per second for the higher capacity drives. Also for input output operations per second, which is a great metric for measuring the performance of an SSD, we get 75,000 to 80,000 IOPS uh, for the 64 gig and the rest of them respectively. Uh, for max write uh, input output operations per second, we get 16,000, 30,000, and then 36,000 for the higher level uh, versions. Uh, now let's take a look inside the box and see what comes with it. For starters, inside the box, of course, we have the SSD itself. We'll come back to that. Uh, we get a Samsung solid state drive little bundle here, and included is uh, some important stuff like Norton Ghost. Uh, which will enable you to transfer, uh, for instance, an old Windows or operating system installation over to your new SSD. You also get a Samsung SSD 830 series uh, driver disk with some utilities right there. Uh, you also get a solid state drive basic user's manual. Next up is some hardware accessories. Again, this is the desktop upgrade kit, so uh, they are providing you with a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch uh, adapter so you can fit this SSD into one of your larger size drive bays if you uh, have a computer that does not have 2.5 inch drive mounts. Pretty standard uh, adapter right there but it does have a nice Samsung logo punched out that's sort of raised off the bottom of that adapter. Nice and shiny. Of course you get the requisite screws for mounting the drive to the adapter and the adapter to your case. You've also got a couple uh, adapter cables here. This is a power cable that will let you take a Molex 4-pin plug, transfer it over to serial ATA power so you can uh, supply power to the SSD. And finally, they have included a serial ATA cable. It's got the little brackets on there, so that will be serial ATA revision 2 or 3 compatible. Uh, actually, it says SATA 3 right there on the plug, so you'll know that that will work. And that wraps it up for accessories. And now for a look at the SSD itself, you will notice this has a very handsome black brushed aluminum finish. Uh, it's got a orange highlight down there in the bottom telling you it's the 256 gig model. Of course, down there on the end, you can see your serial ATA power and data connections. There are mounting points on both sides of the drive there, as well as uh, the four mounting points on the bottom, which are standard for 2.5 inch drives, and then a decal there with your drive information and serial number. Now, one other thing very important to mention about this particular SSD, it is only seven millimeters thick from top to bottom. And that is especially helpful for those of you who might want to install this into a notebook that might not have room for your typical uh, height 2.5 inch drive. And now, since I mentioned bench benchmarks, I'm going to show you a few. I've also got our Newegg product page up here so we can compare them to the manufacturer uh, specified benchmarks. Now we're seeing max sequential read up to 520 megabytes per second and sequential write 400 megabytes per second. So first off we have the Atto disk benchmark. We're running at a queue depth of 4 and here we can see our uh, reads up in the 550 megabytes per second range. Uh, we can see our writes actually at about 415 megabytes per second right there for our 32 and 64 gig, uh, 32 and 64 block size tests. Uh, so there we can see some comparable numbers to what we're seeing from the manufacturer. Next up, I'm going to pull up our AS SSD tests. 
and uh, AS SSD is specifically made for SSDs, hence the name. Uh, but here we can see our sequential reads about 440 megabytes per second, writes about 237 megabytes per second. Uh, I like to point out the 4K numbers for SSDs because when you're running at home, that's going to be uh, one of the greatest differences is 4K reads and writes. That is what you see a lot of in your typical day-to-day -day use. So uh, 22 and 74 respectively for that. Actually, we got some better numbers in the next test, which I'll show you in just a sec. Uh, but for input-output operation, Operations per second in the same test, 74,666 here, and uh, just shy of 30,000 there. And that's for our 64 threaded test. Overall score of ASSSD for, of 748. Uh, also, they um, show the access time here, and that's uh, another big jump that you'll notice, especially over mechanical drives, 0 0.065 milliseconds for read, 0 0.05 milliseconds for write. Now let us pull up crystal disk mark. Uh, I ran this both in the compressible mode as well as the incompressible mode. Compressible data is shown up top, uh, incompressible there on the bottom. You'll notice uh, big differences in, the, in these numbers a lot of times depending on the type of NAND flash memory that's used in the SSD. Uh, here we're using Samsung toggle NAND and uh, the numbers actually remained pretty much the same for compressible and incompressible. Uh, and that's probably mostly thanks to the Samsung controller that's in there, as well as un using that toggle NAND. But here again, we can see we're breaking 500 megabytes per second uh, in our sequential read tests. Uh, we're hitting just shy of 250 megabytes per second in our sequential write tests. Uh, and then for 4K, we're hitting 24 uh, and 91, 92 megabytes per second for our 4K tests. Again, uh, pay attention to these 4K numbers for SSDs. They're not the big numbers that you'll see advertised on the box. Uh, but comparing these can give you a really good idea of how these SSDs are going to uh, show a difference in your day-to-day -day computer usage. Over here for input-output operations per second, 77,708 and uh, just shy of 36,000 input-output operations per second. That's at a Q depth of 32 uh, for 4K reads and writes. And that, again, is in line with what the manufacturer has stated on the box as far as performance of this drive. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Samsung 830 Series SSD. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos just like this one. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.